I'm for me crochet. Well, hello and welcome to my channel. If you're not into creepy crawly insects, well, look away now because we're going to talk about caterpillar crochet patterns. I found a variety of lovely um, caterpillar crochet patterns varying from very difficult like or intricate like this one with its different, <laughs> different segments and uh, a little face. And uh, he's adorable, uh, slowly making his way around <laughs> the bouquet of flowers there. <laughs> very, very cool. This one with his little apple cheeks is very cute too. It's a little bit more easy to crochet. As I said, uh, these crochet patterns vary from in difficulty and of course in intricacy and detail. And as per usual, you can find the link to all these wonderful crochet patterns in the description below the video. I hope you find a favorite. Let's go to this classic caterpillar who was very, very hungry and uh, very nice. I think they did absolutely wonderful uh, creating, recreating that uh, classic design. Very nice. He's not the only very hungry caterpillar that we're going to see, but we carry on with this little cool dude. Well, I love the little glasses, like a little bookworm, I suppose. He's very dapperly dressed with his little bow tie. Very nice, L cute little fluffy, fluffy details, fluffy yarn. Very nice. Completely different as this one. Like a little grub, almost. Uh, very cute, very colorful. This one is very sweet. Be prepared to, to make a lot of these little uh, little balls as, uh, as feet. <laughs> Adorable. And eating a nice little leaf. And here it is from the underside, from the... <laughs> Very nice. A bit more complicated is this one. Uh, no less fun. And here it is sur surrounded by all other little uh, dudes and dudettes. Love the flower on the, on the antenna. Mala Designs is absolutely fantastic with the big googly eyes. And uh, colorful, colorful, detailed designs. Very nice. I love this one. I love this one. It reminds you a little bit of the the, the caterpillar from uh, Alice in Wonderland. Here it is in different colors. Very nice, very uh, very happy looking little dude here, and very colorful. Look at the, the look at the details here with this golden stitching. Love that. Another Mala design uh, caterpillar. This one a little bit less elaborate than the other one, making its way around a crocheted. Well, I suppose pincushion flower type situation there. It's all sorts of fun in this pattern. And uh, very, very, very colorful and cute. Like we're used to. Another hungry caterpillar here. This one has uh, um, some fuzz on the back. I don't know what you call them. These little uh, hairs on the back. Very cute. Um, yeah, and look at these smiley faces in these stripy caterpillars. These are great for kids uh, to grasp onto with their little hands, and they also love to be outside. <laughs> Look at the happy face. They are very, very, very cute. Oh, and I hope you don't mind making a lot of those <laughs> little feet. I don't think that's something you can get away from in making caterpillars. Fortunately, all these little segments are quite easy to make and not very complicated, so you can make it as long and as complicated as you want. Adorable. I love this one. I love the, the, the different shape of the face with the little uh, almost alien-like mask type of thing he had and the, 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 two, the, two, the two parts of the tail. Here it is in different colors. In blue. It's very alien, sort of grub-like uh, caterpillar, this one. The, I like this one too. It's very simple. Um, the great stash buster if you uh, if you have a couple of colors that you want to uh, to put together. I think this one is made as a, a keychain with a little thing in the back. Uh, very nice to have that dangling from your key. Oh, here it is with its little keychain friends, the bumblebee, the little snail, and a beautiful caterpillar. Those are awesome crochet patterns. Uh, delicious, it says. <laughs> it looks a little sad. Probably the way that the um, the eyelids are placed. Here it is from the back. And it, oh, I just want to give it cuddles. It has a cute little hat. Who can argue with that? This one is absolutely adorable. Look at the little feet. I'm sure there's a little bit of uh, hardware in there. <laughs> which just makes it uh, able to hold this uh, this little uh, clover, I suppose. With this adorable... These little leaves. Look at the little tufts of, uh, of hair on the back. It's adorable. Look at the face. Look at the face. And this uh, little caterpillar has uh, all sorts of little socks and <laughs> shoes on, little slippers, I don't know what they are. 
but he's given the thumbs up. He's happy, uh, having a great time and uh, loving life and uh, being very colorful and fun. This one just loves apples. I love the details in the crocheting here. This takes a little bit more effort in crocheting around, but it gives a great effect and uh, loves apples. And here it is posing from the other side. And here it is with his hanging out with his little buddies. And look at this apple green one with the, with the happy face, adorable. And he is with the little bumblebee friend. Uh, they make so, so, such great friends. I love that the faces are almost identical. <laughs> I love that. He's a happy little dude. This colorful dude is great with the pastels. Uh, great stash buster again. Make Just make those little balls and those little itty bitty. I think these are popcorn stitches actually inserted into the crochet pattern of the of the little segment of the little body segments. Even better than you don't have to sew them on. Yeah, I think they are. That's a great idea because uh, yeah, then you don't have to sew them on. <laughs> because I don't know anything else to say about that. Anything you don't have to sew is a, is a win in my book. <laughs> this one has a little um, a leaf umbrella. Uh, absolutely adorable. I uh, love the color scheme of the two-tone. Very, very, very nice. This one is more realistic looking. There's another one coming. Don't, if you don't like grubs, uh, look away. Love the color scheme on this one. It's probably uh, made in a, in a, from a real uh, real existing caterpillar. I have no idea. I have to use the, if you do, let me know. Here is making its little poop, poop, poop. I have no idea how to pronounce that. But it sort of winds itself into this little cocoon and uh, transforms into a butterfly. This one is just ready for a little hug. So it is an absolutely adorable little... Uh, feet, what a great way of uh, making those feet without having to crochet a lot of uh, different elements. Great, great idea. Look at the face. Adorable. Here's another very hungry caterpillar. Hungry, hungry. This one is made from um, penta pentagons, little uh, African flowers. Absolutely beautiful. And also the apple that it's eating is made from those. Um, here it is in close-up. So beautiful, and here is the apple. The apple itself is uh, is uh, fantastic already. Well, it doesn't get any fluffier than this little dude. <laughs> and uh, very sweet with the little hat, little beret, <laughs> bow, and an adorable face. It's just very, very cute with the little um, eyelashes there. <laughs> An applique caterpillar, very colorful. Again, great stash buster. This one, love the little details. Of the little, just simple circles will do, you know. It's it's doesn't take a lot, but it gives such a great colorful effect. Quite a large applique, but of course you can make it as big or small as you want. Another fluffy, fluffy little dude here, great for cuddling with. Excellent, excellent um, toy for babies. So they, they can grasp on with their little hands on the antenna. Make sure to fasten them very, very securely, and uh, nice to snuggle up with for these little kids and very soft for their skin. Love this one. Another sort of, um, um, what do you call it, a realistic one. Uh, it has a very uh, fearsome mouth <laughs> and quite a stingy tail, as you can see. So here's the, 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 the bottom part. Here it is from the side. Look at the tail part. That is um, a little scary if I do, uh, if I do have to admit that. Uh, but it is quite a cool one, very colorful and very nice. Unfortunately, there's a little simple ones like this also. Very primary colors, great stash buster, very simple, very adorable. Great draft ex excluder as well, should you, should you need one. And this one is cute. Look at the little face, love the color scheme there, love the little um, embroidered details on the sides. Absolutely, absolutely adorable. Well. We're done with the creepy crawlies for today. These are the caterpillar crochet patterns that I wanted to show you. Of, as per usual, you can find the uh, the link to the, the links to all these wonderful patterns in the description below the video. I hope you found one that you liked, and uh, I hope to see you again soon with some more crochet pattern roundups. And I wish you happy crocheting.